welcome to today's edition of Extra Mile Exceptional Leadership. It's been a series we are on that we tie to a biblical mandate for national transformation. We want to establish very clearly that God has a responsibility that he has reposed upon those of us who are his children in every nation, in every community, in every profession, we find ourselves to do something about it. We ended last week on the note of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 15 where God gave the first of his creation man, the first man, a responsibility in a supposed garden that was supposed to be all ready, all made for him. God said, no, there is no man I put in a place that doesn't have a responsibility to do two things at a minimum. Number one, to dress it and to keep it. And we began by explaining what that means last week. We said to dress it is to add value. To keep it is to protect it. Also, when you take it further, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and verse number 10. I want to read that very interesting scripture. Here's how the Bible puts it. The Bible says, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. It's important that we know, because I happen to have given my life to Christ much, much earlier, and in those days, I discovered, in the 70s to be precise, I discovered that a number of people felt that getting engaged in political social affairs was inimical to the Christian faith. As a matter of fact, those who choose to go into politicking or partisan politics were always ostracized and, and, and even sent out of the church. But what a mistake, nothing could be further from the truth. God, everywhere he has put us say, we are created for good works, not just to go to heaven, but on this earth to demonstrate good works. And the place at which we demonstrate that good works is first with respect to the communities we find ourselves. You know, in the Bible, in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 11, the Bible describes Jesus. The Bible speaks of him that to you is born this day in the city of Bethlehem a savior. He is born in the city a savior. Every Christian is designed to be a savior. We are meant to be the reason why things change. We are meant to be the pivot around which things revolve in order to be able to orchestrate and find the right kind of standards we expect. You see, you, you lose the right to complain about what you permit. Anything you permit, you can complain about. If we don't like it, change it. That's what it is. And God is expecting and demanding of us to change. How do we do that? I'm going to be speaking about it. But first and foremost, let me establish fundamentally that we carry a responsibility. In the book of Romans, chapter number 8, from verses 19 to 22, the Bible speaks on how the whole of creation till now is in groaning, waiting for the manifestation, for, for, for sons, for, for those who understand their rights, who understand their responsibilities and are willing to take what it takes and do what it takes to be able to transform and cause the whole of creation and is in groaning to begin to cease from growing. That scripture simply establishes a couple of things. Number one, the affliction and the aberrations continue until and unless we arise. Number two, that scripture shows that God is not going to do anything about it if we choose to do nothing about it. You see, in, in, in the scriptures, the more you study, the more you get to discover that God will always say unto us, let it be unto you according to your faith. Do we like what we have? No. What do we need to do? We've got to change it. And change it, we must. I'll be back. God bless you.